Hi guys, it's Mary. Welcome back to another video. <laughs> um, actually, this is a requested video where I'm going to do three different um, eye looks for St. Patty's Day. Well, three weren't requested, but I thought if I'm going to do it, let's do my three favorite green eye looks and we'll just call this the St. Patty's. So one is going to be with this e.l.f bite size palette, Tiny Marvels, and my own palette, the Blessed palette. And if you're ready for that, just keep watching. The bad news is for these first two looks, which don't have anything to do with my palette, the Blessed palette, okay, uh, I need to come into my own palette to get my savior here because neither one of these two palettes that I'm going to be using has a shade like that in it. And what I like to do is start in my crease and then I just work it up because I have, you know, older eyelids and this just helps with the amount of blending that I end up having to do if I can just go ahead and lay this shade down first. So that's what I'm going to do. Uh, don't be afraid to use your Blessed palette with other palettes like this because like in a week, you'll be able to buy My Savior individually and just plop it right back down into your palette because as you can see, <laughs> that shade, if you're like me anyway, will get used the most. So now that I've done that, let's turn our attention to the first two looks are coming from Tiny Marvels. I know you were probably like, oh gosh, how did we not know you were going to pull out Tiny Marvels? and the e.l.f. Hot Jalapeno, and this is um, their Bite Size eyeshadow. So this is uh, very inexpensive. <laughs> I think I've got you covered here. We're gonna start on my right eye, your left, with Tiny Marvels. You can see the green shade in there, right? But it happens to be one of my most favorite green shades of all time. That's gonna be the star of this show. But we need something that's gonna go into the crease, and that's gonna be Death Moth. I'm going to now glide this shade in a lot easier than it would have gone in, okay, over the top of my savior. I'm, it's going to take less blending, which is good. <laughs> That's good. <laughs> That's real good, because my eyelids are like next week going to be 62 years old, and the less I do of that, the better. And what I'm really doing here is I'm using the crease to start with, but I'm working Death Moth up into the transition area to blend in with my Xavier there just to give a little subtle color right there and then using the Mel brush which is that's just what I call it it's the refer 21 I'm going to come into mantis and I'm going to start working on the outskirts of it because I will hit pan <laughs> like I don't have two backups of this palette <laughs> and I'm going to put mantis over the top Turn it on its side so I can get in the corner. All right, I'm just going to coat my lid. Such an easy look, but there just isn't any other colors out there, not that I've found anyway, that are Mantis from the Tiny Marvels. When this palette was first coming out, Mel sent me her prototype because she didn't want me to run out of Mantis because I had this palette before it launched, okay? And she didn't want me to run out of Mantis because she knew that Mantis was my favorite. And now I'm going to get just a tiny bit of Fire Butts, just a little bit. I'm going to bring it right here on the inner corner so that a little Fire Butt is right there in the corner of my eye. Close my eye, and first I'm going to start out on my lid, okay, and then I'm going to work my way up on a slack eye so that I can see where I'm really at because, you know, when I lift my eyes, my crease goes up. I want to make sure that this part of my skin that's flapping down here and resting on my eyelid gets coated with this as well. I'm just darkening that up. I, I went in a little farther than I wanted to, and I'm taking up more of Mantis than I wanted to. I want it to come on top of Mantis, just not that much on top of Mantis. Okay. 
I'm gonna come right here into walking stick. And I'm gonna bring that from the middle to meet, but on the outside, we're gonna get spider. Okay, so let me just take this off. And then just dip into, and I just mean touch it, spider on the outside. Now then, I'm going to use Hot Jalapeno from the e.l.f. palette on the other eye. I'm going to come right here into this color and we're going into the crease and up into the transition. Just like we did with Death Moth on this eye, we're going to come right here. Because I'm used to and use Sydney Grace eyeshadows a lot more, don't think that this shade isn't pigmented. I'm just being very cautious because I know Sydney Grace's formula. But, you know, if I haven't used a shadow in a while, I'll go in very lightly. I'm not saying this doesn't have a lot of pickup to it. So the inner corner of my eye, I'm going to take the Refer 21 and get this shade here, which is that gold color. And we're going to bring it right. And I just noticed that this has those little sparkles in it. So I'm glad I have this down here. However, I don't know if this primer I'm using, the Ulta primer, is enough to hang on to it. So I'm going to take their setting spray, the Ulta setting spray, which I'm pulling things out of the Fritzyville basket is what I'm doing. And I'm going to get these shades wet because I don't feel like having this all over my face. <laughs> And that will, just because they're wet, that will intensify this more. Then I'm going to flip that brush over and it is damp. So I'm coming into that shade. Keep that in mind on the intensity of this. But it's not Gold Day, it's St. Patty's Day. So I want to get more of it. So that there's no question that this is a green look. We cannot be getting pinched. <laughs> I bruise too easily now. And I'm gonna do that out here. Let's take this off and get underneath my eye. I try to do this in a way that the mirror is not showing on the camera because PETA likes it better than me, but <laughs> that's real hard to do. Let me get on the rest of my makeup and finish this eye look with some eyeliner and mascara and I'll be back to show you the finished look of these. The next eye look is from the Blessed palette, which I just dropped on the floor for like the fifth time. I am so klutzy. You know this, right? And now I've lost Emmy after 60 under the desk. I gotta go find my magnet and try to coax it out. So we're gonna use the Glitzy Fritzy Essential Eye Set today. except for the E55 is not in here because I've got them all dirty. I'm going to put that through here. Start it in the, over here so it would get lighter. Most of the shadows right there, that'll help lighten up that inner space. Now, obviously my favorite shade of green, my favorite green is right here. <laughs> That'd be kind of funny, right? If I made a palette of my favorite stuff, you know, and then that's not my favorite green. What I like to do so much of the time is come right into PETA, you know? PETA gets more attention than he should because PETA is constantly messing up, you know? He should be fired, but <laughs> we're gonna come into PETA and just right through the crease. And for those of you who've never been here before, you might be going, what on earth is this girl talking about? This is my eyeshadow palette that I made with Sydney Grace. And the shade PETA right there, PETA is the name of the camera. And PETA does not behave. I mean, hardly ever does PETA behave. PETA will constantly be going in and out of focus. <laughs> so that's what I'm talking about. 
Now then, very easy peasy. I've already got that very beautiful shade of green that I just love in here. And I'm gonna bring it all over the lid with this brush first and then I will use my finger. But I wanna get some in the inner corner here. And take the E21 now and into my buttercup and on the inside right there I'm just gonna dab a little right there but I'm not done with that now I'm gonna flip the other side over tap into pop nongi and come over the top of that just switching up the shade a little bit and brightening up this inner corner and now I'm going to take my finger into So Mary and really pack it down family and bring it out here on the outer corner and mix it up toward the crease Go ahead and bring it up toward the crease, okay? And then after that, I'm gonna take a little bit of Emmy After 60 at the base right here, over the top of Family Lee, right here at the base. And darken that part up still more. But I want this a Family Lee to come up toward the crease to meet Peta. And then I'm going to take off these patches, see, and we're going to take Emmy after 60 and just right here at the base. And then use the E21 into Emmy after 60, the very tip of it. Get that out here on the outer. Part of the lid or uh, eyelid down here <laughs> the underneath here under your eye <laughs> and bring it down Let me know below where does your favorite green come from? Is it one of the palettes I use today? Is it a different palette? And yeah, I'm anxious to learn that about you. And I want to make sure I tell you before you leave that you are the best part of the Fritzy family. You are. I love you. But if you aren't having a blessed day, the way that you get one is to go be a blessing to somebody else, actually. Yes, it is. So... You go do that. And until next time, Lord willing, love you. See ya. Bye. And I'm out.
It's going, please use me, please use me. I don't. I'm a praying mantis. For those of you who are confused, I'm sorry, that was supposed to be a praying mantis. I use them a lot more because my palette, of course. PETA, you are an idiot. Maybe I should change your name to idiot. Out here. PETA. I just dropped it on the floor again. Dang it, you wonder why these shadows look like this. <laughs>